Urgent question, Tasmina Ahmed Sheikh. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To ask the Secretary of State for Defence if he will make a statement on reports of new evidence that UK manufactured cluster bombs may have killed and injured civilians, including children, in the conflicts in the Yemen. Thank you. Thank you. Minister Philip Dunn. Uh, Mr Speaker, the United Kingdom last provided BL-755 cluster munitions to Saudi Arabia nearly 30 years ago. The final delivery was in 1989. We ratified the Convention on Cluster Munitions on the 4th May 2010, and we no longer supply, maintain, nor support this weapon, and we have not done so since we signed the Convention in 2008. Based on all of the information available to us, including sensitive coalition operational reporting, we assess that no UK-supplied cluster weapons have been used or UK-supplied aircraft have been involved in the use of UK cluster weapons in the current conflict in Yemen. We are aware of reports of the alleged use of cluster munitions by the coalition in Yemen. We have raised the issue of their use during the current conflict in Yemen several times with the Saudi Arabian authorities and in line with our obligations under the Convention on Cluster Munitions, continue to encourage Saudi Arabia, as a non-party to the Convention, to accede to it. The Saudis have previously denied using UK cluster munitions during the conflict in Yemen, but we are seeking fresh assurances in light of this new serious allegation. Tasmina Ahmed Sheikh. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Yesterday, Amnesty International sent a letter to the Prime Minister calling for an urgent in uh, investigation into the scandal of UK-supplied BL-755 cluster bombs being used in villages in northern Yemen. During recent field research in the Sada, Haja and Sana'a villages near the Yemen-Saudi border, Amnesty found a partially exploded UK-manufactured BL-755 cluster bomb, in addition to other evidence of US and Brazilian cluster munitions, which have been used by the Saudi Arabian-led co uh, coalition forces. Whilst I note the Minister's remarks, the discovery of the cluster bomb originally manufactured in the UK in the 70s is clear evidence that, as long suspected, members of the Saudi Arabia-led military commission, uh, coalition have used British cluster munitions in their highly controversial, controversial attacks in the Yemen. In February, the European Parliament voted by a large majority for an EU-wide ban on sales of arms to Saudi Arabia, citing the disastrous humanitarian situation as a result of the Saudi-led military intervention in the Yemen. Further to this, under 2008 Code of Conduct, EU member states promised not to sell weapons to countries where they might be used to commit serious violations of international humanitarian law and undermine regional stability and peace. With this in mind, Mr Speaker, will the UK Government now finally suspend arms sales to Saudi Arabia and properly investigate the issues raised by Amnesty International. And will the Secretary of State now confirm that the government will keep its commitment to the EU not to export in these tragic circumstances? And finally, will the Secretary of State now apologise to the House for this government's continued inaction in this vital ma matter, which has resulted in the deaths of Yemeni men, women and children as a continued use of British bombs? Yes. Minister Dunn. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the government recognises that the, the seriousness of this allegation and has therefore uh, requested reconfirmation from the uh, Saudi authorities of any evidence that there is to suggest uh, the, that UK munitions have been involved in the way uh, alleged. Uh, we don't have any evidence of this at present. We have, as I've said already, uh, no, we've not supplied any uh, such munitions for a very long time. There have been seven conflicts in, this, in the border area between Saudi Arabia and northern Yemen in the last decade. Uh, so uh, it is not clear to us that this, from the evidence provided this thus far, that this munition has come from the current conflict. In relation to uh, the uh, other issues the Honourable Lady mentioned, uh, we are, uh, are clear that the role of the United Kingdom uh, advisers to the uh, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia armed forces are uh, not operational in this conflict. We, uh, are, we welcome the ceasefire and the negotiations that are currently underway and have been in place for the last six weeks or so. We wish that 
uh, to, to be successful so that the cessation of hostilities continues to result in no further conflict uh, in Yemen. So, uh